Okay, a little loud, a little bit loud. Okay, hi there, my name is Joseph. Ow, my ears are bleeding. Uh, my name is Joseph, I'm going to be playing through DMCA Takedown Seize and Desist. A uh, game created for the 2017 something awful summer jam, or awful jam I guess they're called now, uh, by Supernorn and Company and Veg Boy Republic. I'm very excited to play this. Uh, I haven't seen anything, I might have seen previews on Twitter or uh, posts and stuff like that, but I don't remember any of the active development pieces, so I'm just going to jump right into it. Uh, when I'm done recording, I'll dump this to YouTube and I'll send you guys a link to this live raw unedited footage. Uh, maybe later on I'll actually do some editing and cut out the pieces that are relevant. And if I do decide to do that, then I'll put a link in the description to the edited footage so you don't have to sit and stare at my dumb fucking face to play for your game. So, let's get the, uh, let's get going. Alright. Grandad was born in 1989 from a sprite salvaged from an unlicensed Famicom gambling game. Uh, I think I see something fading in in the background. In the 1990s, Grandad took the NAS world by storm with cutting-edge platforming mechanics. Players loved Grandad, but Nintendo Corp's evil lawyers took legal action. You will play as Grandad in this bloodbath for justice. Welcome to DMCA Takedown, Season to Six. It just occurred to me I didn't check my mic levels before I started. Oh, hello. Uh, controls. JK, WAC, Chris Hill. Okay, oh. JK, JK. Ooh! Ooh. That's. A little cute. Oh, there we go. Can I jump? No. I like this. It's Streets of Ragey. Ah. Shield. Alright, run. I'm not feeling the. Oh. I, I like the look, it's really pretty. Um, I, I understand that this is, you know, it, it's a little confusing when he sticks to the left, or the inverted um, kind of direction when you're facing. I know that's how you're supposed to box, except you're not supposed to move your front foot, I thought. But uh, it's a little bit confusing. Um, I would go for improper boxing form over something that looks like that. In fact, I don't know why he's standing that direction, actually. Because right? that doesn't look like good form at all. Oh. Alright, I suspect this isn't going to end well for me. Um, I'm going to run. It's my policy. Oh, or, oh dear. If this drops me back, if this drops me back at the beginning, um, oh, hey, I'm back up and running again. Alright. If this drops me at the beginning, I'll be uh, a little bit sad. But it doesn't feel awesome. Um, the timing is a little bit weird to me. Uh, I like to be able to. I expect more from my fighting games, my Streets of Rage stuff. So let me see if I can do anything like. There we go. Can I parry? Yeah. Okay, so I just got a shield at the right time. Um, I gotta practice that a little more. Parry. Oh, wow, hey, that does a lot. Parry. Okay, or, or just don't attack me. Parry. Punch, punch. Parry. Punch. Parry. Oh. The two hit kills are really. Uh. A little bit, uh, a little bit much, but alright, I'll give it one more go. Um, it's gonna be a late night, so I'll. Or, uh, I don't want it to be a late night, so I'm gonna fail after this fight again. The. Slow shuffle slide as the report is. Ow, you fuck, come on. Alright, one more time. I do feel a little bit obligated to get slightly farther. Alright, so he's not attacking me, it seems. Um, I would like for him to be able to punch a little bit so I can get a sense of the timing. I, do, I didn't notice for any of these guys uh, the wind up. Oh, yeah, it's there. I just didn't notice it. Oh, God. Damn it! Um. All right, one more time. Yeah, so there's a wind up. I, I just didn't notice it because I'm a little bit stupid. Oh, and he does in fact punch. Uh, 
a minor gripe. It, it might be nice uh, to not have to lift my hands off the keyboard to hit the try again button. Um, just because I have to refine my center and all that good jazz if I block. Nope. Block. Can I still move? No. Um, yeah, so instead of hitting yes, it might be nice to just be able to hit J or K or... I guess I should try to do that before it, so go ahead and beat me at Death Duder. Alright. Nope. Can't. Gotta, gotta push the button with my mouse. Yeah, so uh, being able to hit J or K to restart after the fade out would be good. Um, a little more audio clues or audio cues for when things are going to hit me would be good. Um, and again, that that two hit uh, kill is really brutal. Uh, Alright, so I think I'm going to call this here. Um, I feel bad for not getting farther, but uh, it's... Alright, I'll give it what I got. Oh shit, I'm now one hit away from dying. So, uh... Yeah. Uh, I definitely Nintendo hard. So you've got that for me. Um, I don't know how many screens there are. I guess I could find out, and maybe I'll come back to this a little bit later. Uh, I was expecting to get kind of farther, but uh, maybe another time. I'll think some, uh, so a breakdown of what I like. Uh, it's very pretty. Uh, I think you've got uh, the synopsis at the start is perfectly succinct. And it's kind of funny, which is good. Uh, the things that I'm a little bit iffy about are, I, I mean, I'd like to see the lawyers doing a bit of walking so I know when they're stopping to brace themselves to strike, maybe a little bit more of a, a forgiving time. So I know that, like, there's a big cooldown after the punch, which is really hard for me, like, coming from fighting games. If I do a jab, I'd like to be able to just run away. Um, if I do a shield, I can understand, like, okay, you do a bad parry time. But I feel like the punishment from that should be, if you screw up the parry time, you get hit by the thing. You, know, you get hit by the, the strike, instead of just having to stand still waiting for them to hit you for however long the cooldown time is. Uh, and a two-hit death is maybe not what was intended, but I guess I'll, if I can, I'll come back to this game at the end of it, and I'll take a look. Uh, maybe there's a patch or something like that that undoes that two-hit uh, fatality stuff. But all the same, congratulations on making a game. You've done good work, and I'll see you guys in the next one.